Alright. Scout office is open from 9 till 5. Don't be late, I'll show up whenever I fucking want to. So we. Okay. 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 Uh, get out of the car. Zach, is there something? All right, we're gonna do check? the. We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but. But nothing. I'm gonna do what I say. Um. What am I doing? Why am I in here? We are going to. Why? Why am I doing that? I'm an idiot. Oh, my brain's really all over the place. Here we go. Let's look at our radio. Okay. I only can hear one enemy at a time. Interesting. Okay, let's see if I can travel to... Ah. Interesting. For some reason I can't... I'm sure that the um, lumber mill... Was was there? Great Deer Yard Hotel. I guess is where I am. Well, I might as well travel to my home. And um, then drive towards Emily's. Oh, well, or I can sleep at my home and then drive to Emily's. I'll give that a go. Um, because I need to be there after, I believe it was 7. And, I don't know what the time limit is. So, let's just, <sighs> I don't know what happens if your hunger reaches... Ah, so... Nine hours will take it to, if it's ten, seven? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna risk it. Yeah. I'm gonna risk just seeing what happens if I don't eat. Whether I lose health or... Oh, you do. You just start... Your health just starts draining. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. All right. All right. I'll do. That's the only annoying theme of the time windows and. and Having to sleep through them and shit. But, um. Yeah, it. can cause problems. Be nice to just. Ah, end up training. It's a bonus. Can I take this car, please? Because I haven't worked out where my fucking car is. One of these. My car looked much nicer. I might have to pop a flare. Um, because last time I found my car by accident. Or I can go. This way. Maybe see a cop car parked. I'm just looking at the trophy description, they said it had to be raining. But then someone made a comment saying that when they went there it wasn't raining, but it started raining after. Why are all these yeah. These cars. 
please, even though you're closed, have a cop car for me. Thank you. So now I want to head to... It'd be great if I could put my own waypoint. And the thing rotates, so... Now I'll be very disoriented. This is just... Dead end. Okay. That's where we started from. The very beginning of the game. Um... We drove... Oh, that's dead end. Okay. Okay. Keeps house. Gas station. Okay. Pandia. George's house. Okay. Yeah. Emily's house. Right. So. Basically. I can just drive straight down here. Past the chicken flag. Stop raining. Oh my god, been stop. No, no, just drive fucking normal. Ugh, oh, this car. Didn't even get my needle. Finally. Ugh, it doesn't turn at all. Alright, it's gonna be loud, but... Boost. Ah, uh, hang on, where the fuck... Where the fuck is it now? Why... Is it this way? No, fuck's sake, this is why I hate the goddamn map. Why does it rotate? Toggling isn't a good idea. And where the fuck am I? I went right past. We want to go that way. Yes. God damn it. Fast travelling would be fucking sweet if I could travel to some locations. Quint? He's got my car. Yeah, I, I looked online and I didn't really see much regarding the extra content. I need to try and get Google to understand what I'm asking, which is like, where is my car? Like, I've picked a car that has double the speed. And, like, yeah, everything else is showing up fine. Like, okay, my suit was in the uh, suitcase, which makes sense. Fiona's just naturally dressed like a cat, which doesn't make sense. But the car, I would have assumed, would appear, like, outside of... It must be in a set location. But yeah, for some stupid reason, the map is always set to have you pointing like north. So you look at the map, try and work out where you're going, and then of course the next time you look at a map, if you're not facing the exact same direction, everything looks fucking different. Hey! I'm a cop, get out of my fucking way. Okay, I'm gonna pause, try and work out where I am now.
Emily's house, perfect place to look, to, to stop. I'm coming, Emily! I have cheese for you! You need the cheese. Nope. Get out, get out. Call for someone. Well now I'll never know the mystery of whether or not that man there was raining. Emily. Emily's bagel sandwich. Ah, okay. I'm just gonna rob you. Talk! She's not dressed like a cat. I guess because she's not in your uniform. So how's the chemistry experiment coming along? An experiment? <laughs> Back of your light bulb. I'm doing my best to learn how to cook better, thank you very much. Sorry if I touched a nerve. I just couldn't resist it. Well, anyways, how about trying a taste for me then? You mean a taste of this? Well, I think it came out pretty good. But I want to hear other people's opinions so I can improve my cooking. I don't think you should cooking. be such an asshole, so on, please. This is shocking, Zach. She's serious. Not even a like, why are you in my house? So? What do you think? Come on, tell me. Mm. It isn't entirely inedible. What's the best way of saying that then, Zack? Ah, of course. It tastes like a... Nice try. <sighs> Emily, no need to get so depressed. This dish just needs... One more ingredient. You need a certain fermented dairy product, and this will be perfect. A dairy product? What? If we get the chance, Zach and I will bring it to you. Then we can I mix have some it in my and pocket right try now. it again, okay? What do you say? Thank you, Agent York. I won't get my hopes up too high, but I'll be here. Yay! So don't worry about the list. Now, I'm going to look upstairs. Oh. And I'm going to rob you. Oh, is that a card? Ah, oh, nice. Pays to be nosy. What is it, Agent York? It's a first aid kit. It is cheddar cheese. Emily, the answer is cheese. Cheese? I'd like to know what dish she's making. Mmm, this does taste good. Like something Thomas made. I agree it's good, but this isn't in the same league with Thomas's cooking. His cooking is so precise, so delicate. I'm looking for an Wonder example if he'll do here. missions for, um, It's Thomas. like listening to classical music during tea time on a holiday afternoon. This, however, is far more wild and running free. The two are opposite poles, really. Making yours, um, like... Anyway, <laughs> both are edible, and that's the point I'm trying to make. Enough. But how did you know the cheese was the answer? I was looking at the ingredients, and it hit me. Milk, macaroni, Ah, I was gonna flour, say, butter. is it like she's you making macaroni and cheese? Macaroni and cheese, right. Macaroni and cheese? Of course not. It's Italian beef stew. Oh. <laughs> Zach, have you ever heard of a beef stew with no beef in it? I certainly haven't. At least not until today. <laughs> I 
Okay. I just casually pull this out like somewhere. I'm glad I managed to make something edible. Here's a little something to say thank you for your help. Do do do. Cool. And cooler. Right. So I am going to leave now. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if we, we would have rang made a difference or not. But at least I didn't have to fucking find somebody to sleep and then wake up and then sleep and then wake up. Does eating also did that increase my hunger or decrease my hunger? I should say. You feel it should. No, it's kind of lame. Look at me. You just ate a meal. Did it? Okay, the deer he does move. Alright, that's weird. Um, so... I actually need to go into that menu anyway, but first let's look in her mailbox. Thank you, I will take that. Okay, um, so, I'm going to pick my radio, I want to see if Emily's house comes up, it does, okay, and hopefully it stays, because I don't know, I'm positive that the other one did. So at least now I can travel to this general area. Um, so I think now I want to I'm going to pause, have a look at my list because I was just doing them in order and the next one the next one in the list I can't do until chapter 7 but there's another one I might as well just do what I can for chapter 2 for now. Okay, so there's one... Ah, okay, no I can't do that one yet because there's other missions. Okay, can't do that one or that one. Another nice try cooking, okay. Oh, it does say in the trophy description itself, she only ever cooks at home on an evenings when it's raining, okay. So, it can't be done straight afterwards. Okay, so no point. Um, can't do that one, that one, that one, that one. Looks like I'm going to have to finish this chapter and move on to... Ah, oh, here we go. Um, nope, can't do that one. Okay, here's one. Okay. Requirements none, chapter two. Uh. Um, okay, I don't know if I can do that one. Maybe I'm just going to finish them and do them in order, because it seems like they're listed in a order of progression. Um, so we'll fast travel through my house. And... It doesn't really matter that it's not the cop station, but I would like it to actually remember that. Maybe if I go in the cop station and then leave the cop station, it will save it as a location. But my fucking car! For some reason it doesn't follow me. I and mean, you see, I picked a car similar to this, and I don't know whether I can just get in one of these. 
No. Oh, oh, silly me. Police station shot. I need to sleep. So I didn't even realize when playing the game that this was my house. I didn't take note of the fact that it's pink and not red on the map. And it would have been useful, like, when I got kicked out of the police station. Because it shut at five and I was waiting to stake out somewhere. Um, <sighs> sleep. So, I only need 12 hours. <sighs> um, and now what time is it? <sighs> 7 a.m. What time was it between? I'll sleep for three hours. Hopefully I don't just die. <sighs> Got my health back. Okay. Um item I just use it. Okay. Should use. Oh, I don't know. I need to find a better place to fast travel because there's a couple locations where there's like infinite pickles or infinite onions and stuff like that. And so once I've unlocked there's a fast travel place instead of my house, I'll just go there, stock up, sleep, then eat, then fast travel again. I guess. Alright, but the mystery. See, I don't know even if I can go into the chef's department and then leave again. Whether that will um well, whether it will allow me because of it being kind of story related. But basically, yeah, my understanding is Let's see what's that place in red? That's the bank, which I don't think is ever open. Yeah. Now open at 6.30am. That's 10.30. See another red tree. So yeah, I'll try going in and going out again, seeing, mm. see if it allows that. Hopefully, yeah, it does, and then I can just fast travel there as well. Now, I'll see this York, again. We've been I can't leave now, yeah. So I'll have to come by here when, um, when I'm not tied to it mission wise. That's the problem of not having had this ability during my normal playthrough because a lot of the places should theoretically be automatically unlocked. Okay, so let's end the mission. I'll be pissed off if Emily's place isn't on here. Like, when I start a new chapter. Yeah, why the fuck? Yeah. Do, do, do. Money. Well, I'm making money. I guess. I have to see when I start a new chapter whether it keeps that.
I mean, obviously it keeps some stuff, otherwise I'd have to just somehow work out how to fucking... Yeah, see, it doesn't keep the money for some reason. But... Hmm. So now we're going to do, I think it's... Yeah, unwanted customer and available in chapter 7. Now this is the only thing I don't like where um chapter 2 is a nice short one. This one can be done through chapter 7 and 9, 11 and 12. But I don't know um which mission's the shortest. Previously because, I mean, I obviously don't want to pick a chapter that takes like an hour to complete. At least chapter two, yeah, I can go into the sheriff's department, find the key immediately and end it. So wrapping up chapter two is short and sweet. But some of these right, obviously... Peak? Oh, hold okay. on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's Diner. Would you... Or go directly back to the hotel. Uh, you decide, Zack. Let's eat with them. Why mm -hmm. not? <laughs> okay. I think I'll just trigger a cutscene anyway, but maybe eating will do something with my appetite. I don't know where it's at. <clears throat> okay. So... So, we need to speak to Thomas at the Galaxy of Terror, and then return on a clear night and speak to Jack near the stage. Oh, I didn't see that. I was... is it my... Yay! Okay. I, well, I don't know if it was down or not anyway. So... Uh, the diner's shut. Uh, I don't need to go there, but... What I'm gonna do, pull out my walkie-talkie. See if Emily's house is still on here. Ah! Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting, so... It adds all these places, I guess, because theoretically I would have gone to these places during um, the story. So maybe that's why in Chapter 2 it's possible that... Wait, was Emily's house even an option? I don't think it was. No. Oh, fuck, that's annoying. And how much money do I have, just out of curiosity? 40,000. Okay, so there it says I got the money. Okay, it's so weird. Um, anyway. Well, the tenth time, I'm going to go into the pause menu. Sorry. And this time, do what I'm actually meant to do. Which is... The bank. Sheriff's Department. Galaxy of Terror, straight ahead. Okay, whoa. Follow the curve. Yeah, I think I need to make sure that York's facing north. Before I, um... Try to map. And then that way the, it should be synced up to being the same. And of course it helps that on this map. It's a little mini bar. Well, there's a bar and a symbol. I'm not sure where my ultimate destination is. Like... I wonder if this gate's unlocked at night time. Can't even... 
Can I open that? No. Okay. Tantalizing card right there. So my plan is to do all the side quests and one sterile done, done, then look at cards and what I'm missing and how to get them. Okay. So. Speak to Thomas at the Galaxy of Terra. Uh, is he here? I mean, he's George. Hmm? Of all the things you could have told the town people, you had to choose the raincoat killer. I told you that was nothing but folklore. Don't start with me, George. Just have some good food and hopefully you'll get in a better mood. I'll be in a better mood after you arrest the murderer. You are the ones going down the investigation. Okay, I'll be more careful. This is my town, don't forget that. Zach, looks like the monarch has marked us as the enemy. Uh, okay, am I meant to come here at a certain time? Is this the bathroom? Also, is this the suit I had picked out? Find out. I don't think it is. Okay. No, I want that. Yeah. I don't know why it isn't... It could be because I've done chapter 2 and then replayed chapter 2. Okay, but I don't know... There's nothing about time. Just says return on a clear night and speak to Jack on the stage. But this is after speaking with Thomas. But there's Carol. Thomas isn't here. Well, theoretically, I should be able to fast travel home, sleep until like maybe daytime, come back. But I would have argued that between certain hours, Thomas would be at the station. Now I have a cop car. Can I fast travel to the Galaxy of Terra now? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to travel home. I even like. Google this one. Because, yeah, I don't. Um, I don't have any idea when. when Thomas is actually meant to appear. So before I commit to sleep. Before I commit to sleeping, I'll uh, just check that. Um, let's see. Okay. Special notes, weather can be overcast clear but not rainy, that's fine. Talk to Thomas at the bar to get your request. Then return on a clear night and talk to Jack near the stage. 
Okay, this might help because someone's asking for help on this. Um, okay, uh, Oh, okay. I didn't realize smoking makes time jump forward a bit. That's a shame. Okay, but no one's mentioned Thomas. Uh, maybe if I just quickly... Yeah, someone's saying Thomas doesn't come to the bar. Um, he's usually there around 8 p.m. Sounds like he's down in the basement, though. Ah. He's only there when it's raining. Okay. God damn it. So, um, alright, well I guess I'll sleep until, it's like 8, 8 p.m. Yeah. And then yeah. hopefully it's raining as well. Damn it, that hunger's going right down. Okay. <sighs> So it's 10 a.m. Six hours would make it four. It's, yeah. Let's just do nine hours. Yeah. Alright, and then I'll eat something. Yeah, see, I need to pick up. Much for this. Yeah. There we go. Keep the hunger pains away. Yeah, the description's a little vaguer than I'd like. Just talk to Thomas at the bar. It's like, between what hours? What times? Like, Oh, it's raining. That might be good. Okay. Off we go. I'm sure that site city only appears when it's raining. It's hard too, because I've just... It says you can do it in Chapter 7, but I don't know... The... Like... Situation for chapter seven. But I have to remember the, there's a basement and he could be in there. Alright, Carol's there. Ah! Thomas. Hello? Thomas, you work, here, uh, you work as a bartender at night? In your uniform? Yes, well, it's my sister's bar, but she can't do everything by herself. How's business? Not great after, well, you know. But people are bouncing back. They're carrying on with their lives slowly but surely. But I'm still finding it hard to work at the sheriff's. I feel so sad. Everyone deals with grief differently, that's all. Don't worry about too much. Well, since I'm here now, anyway, how about making a cocktail for me? Uh, of course. I'll make something extra special for you, Agent York. Bye. Just don't forget work for a while and take it easy. Okay, sleep is not my problem. Pancakes. Okay, I don't really need to buy anything. Finish all your rain. Wait, wait, wait. Talk. 
hello. Would you like something to drink? Talk. <sighs> Alright, at least it's natural time nice. recorded audio. Something on your mind? Actually, I was worried it was going to be like not something triggering. has been bothering me recently. Bothering you? That's oh. still too early. There's this customer right. who always gives Carol good. trouble. Is it affecting business? He probably doesn't mean to, but, well, yes, to answer your question. You're an officer of the law. Why don't you just arrest him? Well, you see, he's not exactly breaking the law. No violence. He hasn't physically attacked her or anything. I understand, Thomas. If it's bothering you, then I'll take care of it. What? Aren't you busy with the investigation? Right, agent? Clear that won't be a problem. So tell me about this unwanted customer. Well, he isn't here right now. He usually comes in after 2100. I'll take a look in from time to time. There we go. I don't know if there's anything tied with her, but may as well talk. <sighs> Carol, you own this place. Yes, you got a problem. The name of this place? Galaxy of Terror. Did you get it from the movie of the same name? So what if I did? You must remember the scene where the giant space worm attacks the woman. You know, and then... Don't tell me you came here to talk about giant space worms. I guess I did, unless you want to talk about something else. But I think that's a great topic to break the ice, you know? You were dropped as a baby, right? Dropped? Why would you worry about something that could only have happened so long ago, Zach? Yes. We talked about Galaxy of Terror during uh, Let's Play. And yes. I didn't think it was a worm, it was like a giant space maggot. It started off as a normal maggot, it grew very big, and it did things to a woman. Yes. Okay. So now. This is my car. Maybe it is. Carol's car. Where's my fucking car? Alright, well now... Fast travel back home. Sleep for 24 hours... Uh, well... Yeah, sleep for nearly 24 hours. And then get back to the bar. And I'll take my cigarettes out of the suitcase because... I might... Where is my suitcase? Ah, not my suitcase. Hell's okay. You go through some food that reappeared in here. Mm, where's that go though? Does it go outside? Ah. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say, like, I only had a few items. Okay. So, <sighs> sleep again. This will make a quarter to eight in the morning. <sighs> Sleep again. This will make it quarter to eight at night. <sighs> Stinky agent. Okay. And once again, yeah, I don't like this whole eating thing. It's just really annoying. Go. And wait. 
is night time, isn't it? Oh, why did I go outside? I really should just try my walkie-talkie in the house. I guess because I couldn't use it in a car. Yeah, it's quarter, quarter to eight. Um... I should have known about the smoking thing in the first place. Yeah, so people sort of recommend getting in there around 9 o'clock uh, and then jumping forward in time. Okay, yeah, smoking them will make you forget time is going by. Oh, how much time though? Okay, that wasn't 10 minutes. But, um, I will use another one. So it's like, what, 45 minutes? Oh, now. And Aaron, whoa, stop! What damn, I didn't want to go. Didn't want to fucking go flying by the time, I wanted to just... Okay, well... Jack, I think this is the person. Hey, Jack. You're in a good mood tonight. I've got nothing to say to the cops. I'm glad to see you haven't changed one bit since our last conversation. I take it you have a thing for Carol. <laughs> now that's no business of yours, is it? It is if you're disturbing the peace here and obstructing business. So what are you gonna do about it? Tell me, Jack. What makes you so hot for Carol? Huh? Ah, she's hot. A total babe. She's hotter than anyone I know. More than anyone you know? Oh yeah, baby. She's number one. That's why I'm not going anywhere. Oh, Jack. She don't know what I do outside the house. It's none of her business. I see. So you wouldn't mind if I play the tape of this conversation back to her? Huh? My job requires me to record every conversation that I have. But your wife won't mind, will she? Even though she isn't number one? You dirty s- You want to make a deal? I'll give you a deal if you come by the stand. What? Okay. Hopefully, yeah. I don't know what that means. Do I have to go somewhere else? I almost had a heart attack. What were you going to do if things turned ugly? The odds were against him, Thomas. We wouldn't lose in a two versus one fight in a bar. Two against one? You mean you were counting me? <laughs> you must be kidding. I'm joking, Thomas. I've never seen a situation like that actually turn into a barroom brawl. I find that hard to believe. FBI agents must be really good at handling situations like that. It's amazing you guys really record every single conversation you have. What are you talking about, Thomas? I don't carry around a recording device. Really? But you said... You mean you were just bluffing? <laughs> well, I'm still impressed by your FBI tactics. You've done us a big favor. It isn't much of a thank you gift, but... Please, take this. What do we get? A card! And two hundred dollars. Zach was a fun. Nice. Four hundred dollars. Even better. Okay, so it's time to just end this now. And this is what I'm worried about. 
I'm worried that they'll be like, you're meant to go and investigate like a location and then like shoot 50 enemies and gather clues and be like, fuck, like I spent all that time doing the mission. Didn't really want to like spend another hour playing the damn thing. Like I just want to save. Okay. So... Um, it should say somewhere. Maybe if I go map... Mission. Return to the hotel, yep. So, perfect. Because I can go... Fast travel here. So this is another good mission for the uh, side quests because you skip a few cutscenes at the beginning and then you got the access to everything and then you just go in here. Only thing is I think he might do the multiple choice on me. Okay then, Zach. Do you remember? I'm just keep saying because I can't remember what That's the question right. was. We found the same red seed in her mouth. Okay. Yep. According to Emily, knee prints in the ground, and a broken stiletto heel. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Aligning okay. this with the other evidence suggests that I can't skip this. Into contact with Anna's body. I guess that's the only downside. Those being... What do you think she was holding on to? Okay, it's like a round object. That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand suggest a piece mark. The man in the photo... Yeah, this is the only chore. ...tattoo. Of an upside down Still better than like going to a location and these two could well be related. shooting a whole heap of foes. But well, we just have to go one by one. Okay, I think that's when Emily showed up and they hit a heart to heart. Maybe I thought it was after they went to the bar drinking. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So it keeps the total number of continues from your main playthrough. Whatever. Okay. So yeah, a little uh, finicky that one, but at least it's done.